Hey, it's Mr. McMahon. Uh, congratulations if you're watching this video, which means you have completed your guided essay planning tool. So this video is going to show you how to take this tool and turn it into a final draft. So, so far you have um, ranked your different uh, qualities of Toussaint Levateur and how we should be remembered. You should have them ranked. You don't have to have them ranked like this. This is not necessarily a right answer. So each of these pages is broken up into different paragraphs. So this is paragraph one. So everything I'm about to do goes in the first paragraph. So first thing I have background information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste my background information, copy, and I'm going to paste it into my final draft. So here's my final draft. Let's change the name. Date and stuff looks good. There's the title the teacher already made for me. And right below here, let's paste my information. All right, so there's my background information. Now I'm going to go to part B. Again, this is all in paragraph one. Ooh, looks like I have a spelling error here. Let's fix that real quick. Oh, it's already telling me. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to put it into my final draft. And I notice I got some things here. I don't really want this in here, so let's delete all that. I don't want the list. That's what the teacher's telling me to do. I don't want that. So there we go. And then we get to the last part, my claim or my thesis. Let's copy this. And let's paste it right here after this sentence. So there is paragraph one all done for me. So I have paragraph one done. So now I'm going to move on to paragraph number two. Now before I begin, I need to start a new line. So I'm going to hit my enter key. I'm going to tab in with the tab key one time, and I'm going to indent the beginning of my next paragraph because that's the formatting rules. So let's copy and paste my subclaim. Paste. Let's get rid of now. I'll change the colors here in a moment, but let me get rid of that italics because that's what the teacher told me. Second, let's go to my evidence for paragraph two. Copy it. Let's paste it here. Again, I'm going to change the color in a moment. So if you're like, why is he not changing the color? I'm going to do that in a moment. Now let's go to my argument. Copy. Paste my argument. And there we go. Now I do need some changes here. So let's highlight this whole paragraph. And let's make sure we go to font style black. Let's see, I got some bold here. Let's, un, let's undo bold and just make sure, let's just make sure it's all 12. All right, now I'm done with paragraph two. So to get to paragraph three, first I need to enter or hit my enter key, tab over one space or tab over one time, not one space, but it's actually five spaces, but I'm gonna tab in. I'm gonna go down to paragraph three. And I'm going to do the exact same things. Copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. And then I'm going to start paragraph four. So every paragraph you are to indent every paragraph. At the end, you should have five paragraphs. So that's how you take your guided essay that congratulations you put together and you turn it into a final draft. Uh, good luck and make sure you get a nice five uh, paragraphs.